Kuala Lumpur, the city of the towering Petronas Towers. Tucked away, a delightful vegetarian joint with a reputation that's equally towering. The tallest flagpole and some tasty frogs. Not quite as tall. Keeping up with this menu will be a tall order. We need to eat. And today we're going to be eating Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. If you take a right turn from Delhi and head dead east for about four and a half hours, you come to the Kuala Lumpur airport, which is quite stunning actually, and you get to the city of Kuala Lumpur, a population of 1.7 million people, and all of them have at least one picture of the Petronas Towers in the back over here. These towers have been in more than that picture. They've been in a lot of movies as the climax scene for a lot of uh, spy thrillers, etc. So it's good to be here. What do you say, double O, O? These towers at the back, at one time used to be the highest buildings in the world. Now, the Taipei 101 has overtaken them, but they're still the highest twin buildings in the world. It's not good thinking on someone's part, because instead of putting them side by side, you put them one on top of the other. Look how tall I am, one on top of the other. <laughs> they would have been definitely the tallest towers in the world. Way back up there, on the 41st floor, between the two buildings, you see this little transparent thing, that's the sky bridge. They have a limited number of passes that they give out every morning. If you get there in time, you get that pass, you can go up there and get a really beautiful bird's eye view of the whole city. Where I'm going to take you, you won't have to pay a penny and it'll be really worth your while. Much nicer. You know how starting something always takes a little bit more energy? So we've started our Malaysian Odyssey by going down a few little lanes, taking some rights, taking some lefts, to arrive at something really worthwhile. Get this, the Blue Boy Vegetarian Restaurant. Well, it's blue and it's a boy. If it had been non-vegetarian, it would have been a red man. Because eating non-vegetarian makes a man out of boys. But nestled like a little pearl in the intricate oyster of Bukit Bintang, which is the foreigner's sort of ideal location to go and eat in Kuala Lumpur, is the Blue Boy Vegetarian Restaurant. Here's the unusual part. The owners are Chinese. I have no idea why it's vegetarian. There are lots of signs talking about save the planet, go green, be vegetarian. How can you save the planet and go green when you're eating plants? With us is Chung, whose parents started this restaurant and he now helps in running the restaurant. Chung, please tell my friend Rocky about the wonders of vegetarian food, how healthy it is. Well, look at you, you're a vegetarian, <laughs> and it's definitely healthy. Um, we believe that uh, by going vegetarian, you cut down on the killing. So that's sure. the number one reason why vegetarian. Okay. Other than that, um, it's healthy food, it's uh, natural, a lot sure. of veggie. And it's fresh almost always. Yeah. I believe this is something that's really popular now. What is it called? Yes. This is this fried is, uh, fried kui tiao. Uh, kui tiao. Basically in Chinese, it's called cha kui tiao. Cha kui tiao. Kui tiao refers to the flat rice noodles. Right, okay. Like this. What about the rest of the menu over here now? Is that a lot of Chinese? Yeah, Malaysians. Okay. Mostly are Malaysians. Because Chinese came like, like Indians from India. They came down here a long, long time ago, and this is what you get, Malaysians, Chinese, Indian, Malay.